All right, welcome back to point cloud data topic. Last video, you already learned the range set algorithm. You know how to apply range set algorithm into the segmentation uh, point cloud data, and you already done the separation, the obstacle cloud data right here, the right point, right? It's very really interesting and very important for Nesta to do the clustering. How we do, we group all these points, one cluster into one cluster, all these point, points in one cluster and all these points in one cluster. Uh, each cluster present for the each core, right? For example, the green core, red core, and blue cores, right? So today we learn how to do that. Here is the result we had to build up. It means we had to group all the points right here into the cluster. All the rest points right here into one cluster and all green points right here into cluster. And we do the pounding pulse. Okay. And we do the right here, we do the clustering. So what the clustering? Clustering means we have to group the points by uh, how close they are to each other, okay? And with the data points right here is really big. So what the algorithm help us to speed up the uh, processing? Okay, we use the KD tree. KD tree is the binary tree you learn in the data structure. So they will speed up the closest neighbor source, okay? So, KD tree is the binary tree that split the points between alternating uh, axes, okay? By separating space, by splitting regions, and nearest neighbor search can be made much faster when using an algorithm like Euclidean clustering. So, okay, so we go to the code and we, we build up the uh, BCL point cloud data code function to uh, get this result. And after that, I will go back to the KD tree and tell you how the KD tree work. Okay, last video, uh, environment right here, you already done this step, right? You already have uh, the segment, segment cloud, right? You already done the rent set plan. You do the segment, segmentation and you create, you create the two point cloud right here. Okay, one the obstacle cloud and one the plane cloud. So right here, you continue to do one more thing is it means clustering. So we had to do the uh, build the function called the clustering, okay? And we uh, add a human argument right here is mean we fit in the obstacle cloud right here. So in obstacle cloud, you remember we have a three object, okay? Uh, last video, we have done the obstacle cloud. So right now we try to cluster three different object right here, right? And we put some of the uh, do you, you fit the uh, input cloud right here. The yeah. is uh, obstacle, and right here there's a uh, distance tolerance. I mean, the distance tolerance right here is mean uh, the distance uh, between the points in the one cluster. Okay, and right here is next uh, argument right here is mean the the minimum points the minimum points right uh, to create cluster for example three and the maximum class cluster in this case we call the 30 okay and after that we okay so right here we creating cluster ID, for example, zero, and we ask the color for different cluster, different color, right? In the obstacle cloud, we had different objects, so we put different color there, so. And we run the follow for cluster into cluster right here. Cluster right here is the total, all the cluster of the obstacle, so we run, it's the cluster right here. We say okay 
point cloud with the ties, uh, the sun ties right here is point XYZ for each cluster into the clusters right here, cloud cluster right here, you put the color and you put in parts, okay? But the most important thing you have to know is the cluster function when you, how they write it, okay? How logical inside in cluster right here. So you go back to the this one. We last time you already done the uh, segmentation range chart, right? So I don't tell anymore right here. And today we continue with the clustering function into the process point cloud CPP. We create clustering in the last time in the environment domain, you call the clustering, right? And you put the argument right here. Arguments right here, you see the Right here, like you remember, I plan to you you fit in the obstacle cloud right there and cluster torrent and mean side and mass side, right? And after that, uh, you create cluster vectors right here. Uh, this is the tie C point T, point T right here, right? And you call this one. You, you create a tree right here, you call the KD tree. KD tree will help you to find the cluster, to find the, the neighbor source, I mean the points close together. So I will tell you the detail how the KD tree work. Right now we just call the, uh, we call the uh, KD tree and use them for uh, searching, right? And right here you say you fitting the uh, obstacle cloud right here into the tree okay um, after that uh, you use some the uh, you create the another uh, vector right here okay, cluster in the in this in this in this city, right so and you create the object easy right here you put all the uh, parameter from the argument into this one, uh, cluster torrent, mean side, mass side, mass side, and the tree right here, and the, uh, the fit in the input cloud, obstacle cloud right here, that I extract for you all the cluster inside. This is the peering function in the point cloud library. It's happy to do that. So, after you already have the indexes, in this is into the uh, obstacle cloud. You call, you run the follow-up. You get indexes in it. Okay, you run it in. Uh, the, you say follow-up in. You get indexes into the cluster indexes right here. You already know right here, right? And you run one by one the uh, cluster inside, um, and you put into the cloud cluster. Okay, you create cloud cluster right here, the vector right here, the point uh, right here, the point T right here, right? And you run all the indexes into the its cluster right here. Okay, right here is mean you already know the its cluster into the obstacle, right? And right here, index right here. It means you call its points into its cluster. Okay, I might confuse you right here. And you put back all the points, that's points, into the cloud cluster. Okay. And after that, you put cluster into cluster. I hope you understand this one. Uh, in the obstacle cloud, they have the three cluster right and in each cl cluster they have indexes inside and you run in uh so you run one by one you have three okay you run one two three the first one right here and you call all the point in each one okay and you put pack all the point into the cloud cluster okay and cloud cluster that's put back into the cluster okay so after that, you return the cluster. Right here, cluster right here, you include all type, three type cluster right here you already have, 
okay it's plus that they have the a lot of points inside mm -hmm. that's the uh, what the more important things in the, this function is the kd3 what, how the kd3 help you to find the neighbor server how the kd3 apply to find the the points right here so you in the you see right you see a lot of points right here right a small point right here so how the kd3 find the points glow together if we have a million points what how the kd3 have us and speed up this uh, algorithm okay so go back to the uh, code and we try to run the code to see and in the environment cp we just call this function right uh, after we already uh, process right cementation plan we already have the uh, the first one cement glow first one is in the obstacle right we fit in obstacle we fit in agreement for example right here i say the total and distance one okay and three points create cluster or the maximum the uh, cluster about 30 right and then you right here you, you create a color for each cluster right and you run all cluster into clusters okay this function is ret written to the cloud cluster right in cloud cluster they include up three cluster right here and in each cluster right here you put the uh, the name and the color for each one, okay, and you increase for another one. That's really easy, right? And right here, just run the code and you see how it look like. Yeah, a little bit confused you, but Mm, let's try to read again again many times you understand that's the way I, I I try to learn this method is really important for us to do the project net project I show you we read the real data point and we power in post each object on the row right here I show you the basically the algorithm how we apply to uh, cementation clustering and bounding box okay yeah right here you can see the they we had three car right here right We put it well with different color. One right here is a red one. One right here, uh, green car, and one right here, green car right here, blue car right here, and red car right here. Okay, that's the clustering. Okay, it's about to group the points closer together. Okay. So last next video we do something real. We read the real data points from the uh, lidar and how we power in pulse clustering in each object on the road. For example, pedestrian or uh, traffic car. Okay, so that's a results. But anyway, uh, the more important thing I want to know in this video is the KD three. A binary tree how the KD trees have us speed up the algorithm so we go back to right here so you already know the KD tree into the data structure we have a rough data right here okay so how we insert the point data point into the KD tree uh, okay and KD tree will split a region S and Y uh, for, and 
every time we insert the point, we uh, in the nodes, we maybe insert in the left for the right reason, okay? And for instance, I give you some of the basic example of the, about, about the KD stream. Right here, for example, you have separate point, data point right here. This point, this point, this point, this point, okay? For example, we have the roots right here. Uh, this point is about negative 6.2 and 7. And what's the next node with, with the uh, coordinate system right here? Uh, negative 6.3 and for 8.4. So how we know we insert this point into the left side or right side? Okay, and in the, uh, I tell you, in the KD3, it's a little bit confuse you uh, how you insert the node or left or the right. And you see, it's uh, that right here, they had a split different reason. The first one is a S split, okay, and second one is the Y split, and continue S split and Y split, okay. For example, I give you example data point right here. The, the rules you have this node negative 6.2 and 7. The second one, how you know on the left side? Because you can see um, the first one, they S split, right? You compare in the S value right here is negative 6.3 and negative 6.2, okay? It's less than negative 6.2, so it's go to the left side, okay? How about this one? Uh, for this one is negative 5.2. Okay, it's more than this S value is negative 6.2, so it's go to the right side. How about this one? How, why is this position? This one you can see negative 5 as uh, negative um, 5.7 and 6.3. Why they locate right here? Because you compare to the root, the first one, you compare to the root, you can see negative 5.7 is more than the S1, okay? You compare to the S, and it had to go to the right, okay? When they go to the right, okay, they had to compare to the Y, okay? Right here, you can see 6.3 compared to 7.1, okay? It's less than 7.1, so it go to the left. That's the reason they go to here. And I give you one more example. What happened in what I want to insert different points like um, uh, let me see. I don't show you the the new points right here. But anyway, if you have new points, uh, you know how to, for example, right here, you have some, uh, you insert a new point, you have to uh, compare the new point into the root. From the root, you compare, follow with the S split or Y split, okay? And the result, something right here, you can see the picture right here, you ask the first one. Mm, the first one here. And after that, you insert uh, the first one here. You have that to insert this one. The first one they split on the S axis, right? The second one they split on the Y axis and continue. They do the same thing. They they reserve something like this. Uh, you can read the about the KD tree or the binary tree in the data structure. It's have you easier to understand. Mm. But right here, I give you an example. If you insert another point in the in the bottom right here, you have to compare for from the root, and you go the depth one, depth zero, depth two, okay. The ones uh, points uh, are able to insert into the tree, and the next step is being able to search for the nearby points inside the tree compared to given the target points. So, the points within a distant uh, dis distant tolerance are considered to be the nearby. 
the KD3 is able to split a region and allow certain region to be complete throughout and speeding up the process finding the new neighbors. Okay, it's quite a little bit confused. So go to this picture. I, I show you how the KD3 helper to speed up the process. For example, we had a target right here. I want to see what points around this point. Okay, which point, which point, which point around here, uh, around this target right here. I will check one by one, right? It takes so long time, but KD3 is able to uh, speed up this uh, process. For example, the target point right here, okay? You have to compare the first one, this point, to target point. It's uh, not into and we right here we have the distance tolerance. We have something the distance from here to here, from here to there, the the box right here, okay? From the distance from here to here. If this uh, this one is outside of the box, right? The S and Y Z is more than the distance from okay here. So it's outside the box. But the first one, if you apply into the KD3, they split into the S, okay? S right here. And you compare this distance, the distance tolerance right here is less than the division right here from the S. Okay, so we don't care about this one. Even they already, we don't need to check this one anymore. It's happens, right? And continue for the next part right here. Next part right here. Now right here is the distance from the target to this this point. Is, uh, this you can see this one is not into the box right here, right? We just accept the points into the box right here with distance right here to here. So this one outside the box and continue. We had to second you split split reason into the Y, right? In the KD3, they always depend on the depth. That the the first one depth zero you did split on the the S and the continue the next node you split on the Y and from this here, here you can uh, compare this distance to the division of the, this node. You can see uh, all this on the right side, you don't care about this, this point anymore because this one, this one really less than the division right here. Okay, and continue, we go to this point. You see this point, the green one is into the box right here, the distance tolerance we add uh, like um, a human, you see, listen to right here. You see this point into the bar, so it's okay. It's belong to the uh, cluster, it can belong to, uh, we accept this point, okay? And we also apply right here, uh, KD3, we divide it into the S again. Mm -hmm. And then we continue, check this one. We change this one, you see this one, the distance is far from, far, it means more than the distance tolerance, so it's outside the box. And we split this one into the S again, okay? And you see this one is less than the distance from here, so the division, so we don't care this one, okay? And the last one too. Uh, right here, you have this one. It's uh, outside the box right here. The arrow, arrow, arrow. This is the limit of the box. Okay, and so right now we don't have any the more points, so we don't need to split anymore. But generally, these uh, KD trees have you speed up the algorithm. We don't need to. Sometimes we don't need to check one by one the point right here. If we have a million point or a thousand point, if the KD tree have you to uh, speed up of the processing, right? And one important uh, algorithm right here. After we uh, we know that uh, the algorithm works, so how we build up the uh, function into the uh, KD3. Mm. Right here, we had to write the uh, function name illusion cluster. We list up all the cluster, and we iterate through its points 
if the point not processed, we create a cluster and we call the proximity function right here. We ask the point and you find cluster, okay? So they return cluster for you. In the uh, proximity function right here, you have to know if the, this point not being processed. It means we check all the points in the data point so and we mark point as process and we ask point into to the cluster. Mm, the nearby points called three points right here, put the point in the tree and you iterate through its nearby points. It means uh, I show you here the how the algorithm works and so the results right here you can see we have the data points something like this 11 points so how we separate uh, the cluster one cluster right here one cluster right here and one cluster right here we already see the result we into the PLC uh, BCL cluster right in the environment and the BCL process uh, CPP file. But right here, I just show you the algorithm. For example, we had a data point right here, and how we cluster this point, cluster create cluster response, cluster response. That's the purpose. Uh, and and go to the code. I will show you. Uh, we have the function to generate the data point, for example, create a data point right here, and they generate 11 points for you, and you have to uh, build up the cluster helper, cluster uh, Eulidian's cluster, okay, and in the main, you have the, the, the points right here. You have 11 points, so you had to mm. all right. This one does only we create the data point 11 points and we create the points right here. You the function create point, and after that, you call the k tree algorithms. Okay, the function uh, we build a class right here, k tree right here, and we call the k tree and we insert all this point into. Uh, Okay, into the KD3 right here, you use the KD3 to insert all this point, and after that, you use the search function to uh, search the uh, neighbors. Okay, the close, uh, the neighbor search is being close points around this point. Okay, and then uh, this one, this code, it just means this, uh, the basic code, it means uh, to show you how the algorithm works. For example, we create the 11. Um, 11 points and you create how you, they do the cluster in 11 points that's the purpose of this code and you write the illusions uh you euclidean's cluster right here you put all the points data point right here you apply the kd tree and the uh, distant torrent about three okay and how they create uh the cluster for the 11 from the 11 points right here put the color different color okay for the each cluster mm. And the key right here, how we use the um, KD3, how we write the KD3, and the KD3 have insert this point, okay, points, and this create a shooting right here. We go back to the uh, KD3 dot H right here. Uh, in the KD3, they write in the stroke, right? The, um, they write in the KD3 stroke right here. They have a node right here, mm, stroke node right here. KD3 is they have the rules, okay, they say, and insert function right here, they have you to insert the node into the K3. Mm, for example, they have a function to in the function, the member function in the K3 right here. You have to put all the points right here, insert the points right here, and the ID right here is mean reference a number for this point, okay, points. And you use the function insert helper right here, for example, the, the rules, at the right here reference, bus reference, this means the here is the memory address and of the roots, okay, and you put the uh, points right here and the IDs, the point ID right here.
Insert helper, how the insert helper uh, have to insert the node into the category tree. So we create another member function is insert helper right here. Right here we call the nodes uh, pointer nodes right here is mean there. You see right the the nodes pointer right here mean the rules right and you double pointer right here means you point to the as right memory as of the root right and you call the depth okay depth it means last remember in the KD tree they always had the depth remember KD tree the depth depth zero that one, that two, okay. It's that right here. They split it different side or uh, region. It means sometimes that it's black, it's split, and why split, okay, and it's split again. Mm, okay, and continue. They insert the pawns, pawns right here, and the ID, the reference number for the pawns. Okay, they check if the as right the rules is a uh, node is equal noon so they create a new node okay at the root the as the points right here is the the as a point you put the argument right here into the new nodes right here is a new root node right there and they continue how they know to ask on the s or on the y side i mean on the left or on the right okay uh, right here they use the calculates and uh, modulus right here the return zero and one for you and if they check the if uh, if the points, the new points, it means S value or Y value or one zero or one right here is less than uh, is less than the nodes point or zero one right here. So it means the root they compare to the value of the root right here as uh, S or or y right here if the point cd right here is less than the nodes of the root nodes okay so it means the insert to the left and uh else you have insert to the right and you increase in the depth uh it's quite hard for you to understand right here but for me too but you read this example you see how they add this one into the binary uh kd3 Okay, the first one they had to compare uh, right here this value. The first one you had to depth zero. They had to add split. Okay, they compare the value as first. Okay, right here, uh, this uh, more than this value as value, so they go to the right. Okay, and continue uh, for the depth one right here. The y split. Okay, they compare with the y right here. The y right here means 7.1 and 6.3. This one three is less than 7.1. They go to the left. Okay, so that's the reason they come to here. Uh, if you understand right here, you can understand the code, how they, how we write the code right here. Um, and when we insert, we done the insert, we go to the search. Uh, right now, we apply to the shooting the points we want. If, for example, right here, look like right here, we had a target spawn on the search. I want to search this one. How many close spawn around this point? So that's um, our purpose. We apply the, we had to write the function search right there. So, right here, we apply the target point right here and the distance tolerance but like I tell right here we had to know the tolerance distance tolerance and the target point right here and distance tolerance right here right here how far from here inside distance tolerance is okay and this one you call this search helpers okay right here you need the target points okay the rules node okay and the distance tolerance how far from the target points and right here you ask the yeah, ID for the uh, for IDs for reference okay reference points close to the, the target points right here so what the search helper helpers right here uh, so helper right here you have to the human right here the target points you have the nose root nose right here the depth 
distant tolerance and the uh, IDs. We have if the noise is not equal to noon, so you you compare. Okay, look like I explained to you in the picture. You this light they show you okay the nodes inside the box or not inside the box or not then we check this one inside the, this box or not you see the arrow of the red arrow right okay if the inside this box okay we calculate calculation the distance from here to here for example this point the ring right here is inside the box right because this you can see the distance is smaller than distance tolerant right so this one inside the box so net we calculation the distance from here to here okay that's the algorithm work and you check distance there is less than the distance tolerance so you ask that's not into the ids right now you ask the id number into the ids okay and continue you shot in next one how do you know the left on the right side? You apply the same thing you do. If the target pass right here, that modulus to it may return zero or one, and you minus equal uh, minus distance tolerance. This means you the nose searching have onto the left or go to the right. But uh, you, you try read this one. You see understand how it work because after you. Uh, split right here you know how to check this one the left or the right okay you have to check the side the box right here and into the cluster CBP Uh, you had to the function rather function you gradients cluster you put the points right here the data points right here up by the kd3 and the distance tolerance right here they help you to find and you create a vector right here clusters okay and you had to uh, create the process the boolean vector right here to see the is uh, points already processed or not right here's uh put in put the pullions okay so they check from zero to ten right here we have the eleven points so we check the zero to ten points uh, okay for example uh, right now which while up you run all the point into the data points okay if that that's point it process okay we already process we in increasing okay check another one and we create a cluster vector right here right remember clusters okay we have cluster okay and we call the cluster helper right here to put the dust point okay the point cloud the all the data right here and cluster process right here that's point or not okay kd3 and distant torrent okay and they return cluster and you put all the cluster into clusters okay and you continue to check another points uh, I encourage you to read this again and again it take me a lot of time to understand the KD trees and uh, how you apply KD tree into the cluster but when you understand it's uh, easy to um, in help you a lot for the uh, for the Korean bowing parts in clustering into from the point cloud data. Okay, let's see how it works. See the
back, you can see right here, they help you to uh, group all these points together, one cluster, one cluster right here, green cluster, and blue cluster right here. Okay, that's the uh, KD Trees helper to do that. I encourage you to, to read again the about KD Tree and the binary tree, how this work. How they insert the node into the KD tree, the lab or the right, something like that. Mm. It's a KD tree, okay. It's really cool. Uh, for next video, I will show you how the clustering in the real data points from the lighter. But you understand the KD tree first. Yeah, that's the our purpose right here. You can see. Change right here about least intolerant about and two. What happened? They that check the distance from the uh, the points together. So that's it. All right. So generally, you in this video, you had to know about the KD tree, how the KD tree apply to speed up the algorithm, okay, and create a cluster for us, and how the KD tree uh, insert into, uh, yeah. Insert the knob into the KD tree. Mm -hmm. That's the purpose of this uh, video. I think it's a lot of confused for you in this video, but try to read the KD tree, how the KD tree work, okay? And apply to the KD tree to the searching the target points right here. They apply the Euclidean clustering, okay? Euclidean mean they had to check. Uh, the points right here into the parts or not and you calculate the distance from here to here okay and after that they continue splitting the region okay 